In this video we're going to look at the overview and the game design for my complete Builder Defender course. This is a really interesting mix of city builders and tower defense games. The whole course starts completely from scratch and goes step by step until the final polished game. Let's begin! Alright, so the content from this video is taken from my Builder Defender course. It covers the game design that we're going to build and then an overview for how we will get there. Ok, so let's see. Now the first thing to do when making a game is thinking about the design. So here's the design we're going for. This is a Builder Defender game, so it contains elements from both City Builders and Tower Defense games. The player will have the ability to place down buildings, those buildings have different types, there's the HQ which is the main building, it gathers wood and can defend itself against enemies, if the HQ is destroyed then the player loses the game. Then there's the wood, stone and gold harvesters which gather resources. And finally the tower which fires projectiles in order to defend the player against enemies. Then the camera perspective will be front top down. There will be three types of resources, wood, stone and gold. The resources are placed on the map as resource nodes and the gatherer buildings must be placed near them. There will be enemies which attack the buildings. The attack is very simple, they move towards the building and explode when they touch it. The AI will also be simple, they will target the HQ or the closest building within range. The enemies will spawn in waves and keep spawning with an ever increasing difficulty for as long as the player can last. At the end we have a game over screen showing how many waves the player survived. So that's the core of our game design. Place buildings, gather resources, defend from enemies, place more buildings, expand your area, defend from more enemies and repeat. It's a relatively simple design which will allow you to learn a ton about Unity in general and specifically about these two genres, building and defense. With the knowledge you'll learn from this course, you will be able to make city builders, RTSs, tower defense games, tycoons, village simulators, and so on. And we want to make sure that we build the game in a clean way in order to allow for easily expanding upon it in the future. So that means structure the code in such a way to easily add more building types, resources, enemy types, and so on. And of course, as with any design, this is merely a starting point. Game development is all about iteration, and as we build and play our game, we will get a better understanding of what works and what doesn't. Then when the basic design is implemented, we will get to work on polishing up everything with tons of awesome effects and making the game feel truly great to play. Alright, so this is our design, let's get to it! Ok, now before we begin, let's run through a quick overview of the whole course. So we're going to start off completely from scratch, so the first thing we do is create a brand new empty project. After opening Unity, we will set up the layout, then install the universal render pipeline and finish the project setup. Once we have our blank canvas, the first thing we're going to do is look into the game design. This is a very important step, so we know the actual design we're trying to implement. And with that done, we're going to get started on making the game. The first task is handling building placement, so we can click to place buildings. Then look into how we're going to handle various building types using scriptable objects. After that, we will create the resource manager class to hold all of our resource amounts and set up the buildings to generate resources. With that done, it's time to implement a proper UI and add visuals for the stored resource amounts. Then set up the world map with a proper background texture. With the map set up, we're going to use Cinemachine to control our camera. Then add the UI element for selecting which building type to place. After that, create the building ghost so we can see what type of building we are placing. Then create some proper resource nodes in the world for all of our resource types. Then we're going to add a bunch of rules to handle building placement. They cannot be spawned on top of other objects, they cannot be too close to the same type or too far from any building. And with all the rules implemented, then we add some nice animations. Set up an overlay to display the generator resource stats. After that we're going to add building costs, so we need to spend resources in order to place the buildings. And we need to show those costs to the player, so then we implement a tooltip. Next we make a health system. Then get to work on adding the enemies, set up their AI to target nearby buildings and deal damage. With that, we then add defenses for the player in the form of towers. They target nearby enemies and shoot arrow projectiles to defend the buildings. And then we're going to make a script to handle all the enemy waves and spawn them with increasingly higher difficulty. After that, we're going to add post-processing to be able to add some cool effects. Then learn how to use Shader Graph to make awesome custom shaders. Start off with a simple emission shader and we're also going to inspect the grass wind shader. Then set up the building construction stage so buildings take some time to be fully built. 
all of that along with a really awesome custom construction shader. Then make a simple demolish button. After that, set up the minimap so we can easily look at the whole map. Then we handle what happens when the player loses with a simple game over screen and make a simple repair button that takes gold to repair. Then we add some sound effects to a bunch of actions and also add some music. Make the options menu so we can modify the music and sound volume. Build a very simple main menu. And with all of that, we will have our core game all fully working, which is awesome. So after that comes the very important polish stage. Polish are all the tiny things that improve the game. So we start off by adding some separators to the health bar to be able to easily see their health amount. Then we add some trails to the enemies. Limit the camera so it doesn't go off screen. Add the ability to play the whole game with the mouse by implementing edge scrolling. Learn about player prefs and how to save persistent data for our options. Tweak and balance all of the various parameters in our game in order to have a coherent experience. Add some particles when the enemies explode. Also some more particles when the buildings are placed and destroyed. Add some screen shake, then add some chromatic operation on top. After that, make a really simple visual day-night cycle. Then refactor and clean up the code using the game assets class. And finally, take a good look at the final showcase and see everything that we have built. All right, so that's it. That's the overview of the whole course. We're going to start completely from scratch and by going through it step by step, we're going to eventually end up with a really awesome Builder Defender game. It's got a really interesting design, lots of tiny mechanics and effects, and the whole thing plays great. All right, so that's the game design and overview of the whole course. I'm really happy with how it came out, and based on the reviews, it seems people are really enjoying and learning a ton. The course is 10 hours long with over 50 lectures nicely organized into distinct topics. It teaches you everything on how to make a game starting completely from scratch until the final polished game. The lectures are presented as clear step-by-step -step tutorials just like my normal videos. It teaches you how to make a building system, resource management, enemy AI, world building, post-processing, polish, and much, much more. I'm also constantly looking at the Q&A section, so if you have any questions or want some clarification on a specific topic, feel free to post in there and I'll get back to you. Okay, so if you're looking for a guided step-by-step -step course making a complete game from start to finish, then check the link in the description to pick up the course. This video is made possible thanks to these awesome supporters. Go to patreon.com slash unitycodemonkey to get some perks and help keep the videos free for everyone. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.